a thing that kids will never have to experience in in the line of like going to Blockbuster and shit like that. Yeah. The experience of having a girl that you have a crush on speaking to her on the phone and then have your uncle, your sister, someone pick up the phone and go, Ooh, <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, I, I haven't forgot. I'm still angry about it. <laughs> I don't think it was a fun prank. Jesus, just let me have this awkward conversation on my own. Hello and welcome to The Great Beyond, and is this good companion pod where I catch up with my friend and yours, Jason Doyle. Hello. Hi, JD. Thanks for coming. And uh, big announcement, maybe now that I'm looking at you, are those new laptop stickers? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah, this one is the Hooty Who. This where the, where did you procure the hooty hoo? Uh, from Kennesaw State University. That is the their their mascot is the owl, and oh. uh, and their slogan is hooty hoo. Apparently, but notable and I'm now I'm wondering is this where it came from? Because uh, notable Atlanta rappers Outcast mm-hmm. South got something to say. Yeah, don't they use the phrase hooty hoo to like be like the cops are coming? I believe they do, but. <laughs> I think possibly. Well, I don't know which was first, to be honest. <laughs> it's funny because I guess the idea is like, uh, we'll make a bird calling sound so that the cops don't know we're saying, hey, like we can just say, hey, the cops are coming. Right. Then the cops will know. Right. So we got to pretend. But saying, hooty hoo doesn't really sound like an owl. You're like, right. It doesn't. They got to. They got to get, what are those things you put in your mouth and you can make duck calls with? It looks like a kazoo kind of. Yeah, that's a, it's a duck. It's, I think it's called a duck call. Okay, well, they should have gotten those. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I then guess. It, I guess they would be like, why are there, <laughs> why are there ducks in Decatur, Georgia? Uh, but anyways, okay, let's look into that after. Okay, yeah, let's let's see which came first. The uh... okay, yeah, well, while I introduce Rachel, why don't why don't you Google that? Right. Um, and producing the show, you've already heard her laughter. Hopefully, she's not going to say the words "jet fuel can't melt steel beams." <laughs> Rachel Doyle. I was Do you know on why I'm saying that? My tongue, no. Oh, that's the. Um, obviously, we're going to talk about conspiracies. I don't know if you stuck around for my apology at the end of last show. Mm. I was supposed to ask Rachel about her three conspiracy theories that might be true, and I forgot to. You know, most other podcasts when they issue an apology that they've recorded after the show, it's because they've said something about women. Uh, <laughs> We don't apologize for that. No. <laughs> the hardworking immigrants of this country, but not us. We come back on to apologize uh, for not talking about conspiracy theories. So yeah, the the jet fuel and steel beams was the nine eleven conspiracy. Right, that, like right. it was a internal uh, explosion, like by bombs that were set there by the government because jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Right. Right. Uh, okay, so Hootie Who, the earliest entry on Urban Dictionary that I'm seeing is 2004. Hmm. No, no, that feels way too late. 2004? 20, 2004? Outcasts that's, were like, that was the late 90s. Okay, well, I'm just, that's Urban Dictionary. So I would say the Kennesaw State stole it from, okay. from Outcast. And wait, no, no one you know goes to Kennesaw State, now that I'm thinking about it. No one I know. Well, my son's yeah, going to be goes... going there for for, for first, first year. year. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Maybe your son, we'll who who you were sharing like um, his school is bragging about him on their Instagram <laughs> account. Yeah, yeah. They 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 they're skipping right to second year and saying Georgia Tech, which is okay. going to be. It's just school. sexier. No, sure, sure. No, sure. no, I, no I offense to Kennesaw State. No. It's a great school, but now, ultimately uh, he will end up in Georgia State. Tech. I tech, tech, tech. Or state, depending on his marks. Let's <laughs> let's be honest. They don't have engineering. Something I say that it would say is not sexy, and which I learned from this Instagram post where the school says, you know, all these kids are going to these places. Um, the two languages he's chosen. <laughs> yes. Uh, of course, the two languages of the future, uh, you know, Spanish and Chinese. Sure. Oh, no, actually, sorry, my notes say French and German. <laughs> Do you know well, why, yeah. though? 
There's uh, a reason, a specific uh, yeah. reason. Look at his major. Engineering. Mechanical Mechan- engineering. He wants to work for car companies based in those countries, I, I think. What a... What, he's planning ahead. I mean, it's beautiful. That's amazing. That's so great. He's like, I want to work for Peugeot. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. I got to know. Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, Wait, where in Germany? Uh, BMW, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. or There's a like couple that. there, obviously. You know, they make cars over there. Lots of them. So you produced a car guy? <laughs> Apparently. He was asking to take the fridge apart when he was five. That's true. That's true. Oh, really? He so likes... he's always been a tinkerer? He's a, he's a tinker, for sure. Has he ever built his own computer? A gaming <laughs> PC, perhaps? <laughs> no, he hasn't, actually. Just it's... a big Lego guy. Yeah. Lego stuff, you know. He's more of a tearing apart, tearing things down. <laughs> Don't put right, them right, back right. together after ever. <laughs> That's right. Building it back up That's, is not not his thing. Not That's his. why I said no to the fridge thing. <laughs> well, the thing is, Lincoln, we have the food that we need to survive in there. So That's maybe right. not not the kettle. Maybe you could the yeah. we have an electric kettle. Maybe yeah. you could start there. We should have started there. <laughs> Um, So, yes, we are going to get to Rachel's conspiracy theories, unlike last week where I didn't ask. But, of course, I have to ask uh, J.D. if anything good or not good happened to him this week. Well, uh, it's a little bittersweet. But speaking of kids, our youngest kid turned 16 this Sunday. Jesus 16 years old. And he's the young one. He's the wee one, we call him. But he's taller (laughs) than me now. So the sting of, of our, obviously your other son having turned 16 a couple of years ago doesn't doesn't take off the sting from the, the younger one. No. Reaching it's, the same age. It's way worse, actually, because we, at least we had one. Uh, well, at least there's the little guy. We still right, have right, him. Right, right. The little guy. But now, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, as they say in Game of Thrones, he's a man grown. We have two men in the house. Two man groans? Two, two <laughs> men groans is one of my favorite... X hamster videos. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I was trying to think of a porn site off the top oh. of my head. That's the one. <laughs> that's, you the one that, that's the one that popped in for some reason. Oh yes, please <laughs> think of see- that when talking about our children. Love it. When you've already seen everything on the class classics like you porn, <laughs> porn hub, yeah, red tube. That's when you want to go to X hamster. That's right. And right before uh, X videos. Ugh. Get out, get out of here. You X know, th- videos. Th- when you guys mentioned that prank, the lemon thing, like... Lemon party. Yes. Yeah, I was somehow still shocked when I opened it up and saw what I oh, saw. You, <laughs> I had never why did seen you go? Because I we had to We literally warned you. I, did, I had to. And I didn't do it on his work computer, so I'm a yeah, hero. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> thank goodness for that. And, and that's just... And it's still just a still image, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, actually, it could be the I, first. We I only stayed on long enough to see the first frame of the video, if it's a video. <laughs> like, I clicked away very quickly. But... Uh, I felt like there was movement there, but maybe that was my own imagination, <laughs> taking it to the next frame or two. <laughs> I think the movement was created in your own eyes as they were darting away from the screen as quickly as possible. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's me, Matt. My <laughs> eyes dart away from that kind of thing on a screen. I was by myself. It was okay. I got yeah. through it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> but doesn't that say something about the power of the image? You know what I mean? Because now we're in a, a video world. It's so easy to upload video online. At the origins of the Lemon Party, it was much more difficult. It was right. just a single picture. So a lot of things that were just pictures now, it's like, yeah, we'll throw in a GIF there now. We'll throw in a video. But they've stuck to the picture, and it's still – it's truly worth – a thousand words. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Gross, disgusting. Why did you do that? I, it's seared in my brain. <laughs> I can't make the voices stop. <laughs> it's just a bunch of old people enjoying themselves. I mean, get, grow up, man. Yeah. I think. Fine. Oh, it was different. It was different. Oh. It was not that... I mean, it was Enjoyable? just a BJ. Yeah, that's what, that's what I yeah. had in my mind. Oh. But it's... Uh, it was in a close three directions, up. isn't it? Maybe I got off. I only saw I one direction, but I just again, said... <laughs> it was like when the nurse invited Harry me. Harry Styles and Zayn. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I literally just said maybe I got off too soon. Wow. Yeah. Rachel. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was like when the nurse invited me to peek over the curtain uh, <laughs> into the uh, to the fucking 
my wife mutilated by a C-section to say, hey, your baby's coming out. And that, the first time I was like, mm, I think I'm good. Second time I was like, all right, I got to look. I got to see. <laughs> and all I saw was, uh, you know, a baby, my baby. And, yeah. you know, whatever else was happening behind, I blocked it out somehow. It was I, just like a I, sea of, of gore, gore <laughs> basically. Right. And so this is what you were thinking about when your child turned 16? <laughs> no, I'm, when no, I was, like, when I'm looking at the... At the, oh, uh, this is what the lemon, lemon party, party makes you think of the miracle of birth. I've only yeah, <laughs> the right. miracle of an emergency C section. <laughs> just the power of the mind to just see uh, as little as possible of an image, and then and then it just blanks everything out. So right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So sexy. So yeah. So since he turned sixteen, guess what? He is now allowed to get on Instagram. Was he allowed to? According to Mark Zuckerberg or according to you? According to the house rules. House rules. And he's been waiting, but he was a little trepidatious about it. Yeah, it has to be a private account. But yeah, in this house, social media, you got to wait till you're 16. I think that's a... Okay, so how much pressure have you been under from like 12, 13, 14, 15? Obviously, I would assume most of his friends have Instagram accounts already. Yeah, I would say the pressure was enormous going into like middle school but then yeah. it just went away because it was like, well, they're, they're not budging on this, so forget it. And right, uh, he's right, actually right. been quite cool about it, and, and Lincoln was as well. So they're like, they tell all their friends, if you see a good meme, email it to me. <laughs> yeah, pretty, much. <laughs> pretty much. Well, I think they were just left out of a lot of shit. Yeah. Right. They have but, no friends and, because of it. But so yeah, to, was it to their friends. detriment, do you feel like? In it? Like, did they ever say, not like com- in a complaining way, but just like, well, it was tough because... You know, there was a group chat on Instagram and then they all got invited to this thing or they all made plans and we were they just didn't think of us because we weren't on there. Yeah, I mean, that uh, that definitely happened. Yeah. Big picture, though, I think we did the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, but no kidding. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah. And now he's like, well, what do you mean? I need as many followers as possible. Yeah, it's like day one. He's like, tell all your friends to follow me. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, do you want, hey, if you want to shout out his handle on the air, you know. I'll tell you off the air. I'll tell you off. It's okay. a private account, but although, you know, he's going to accept literally anybody. <laughs> oh, God. Does he want you to follow him? or Like, will he accept you? Oh, that's part of the... For that's, now. That part of the, the condition is that I have to be able to follow him. Mm-hmm. But then he can then he can start a Finsta. Yeah. yeah. Where the real stuff goes down. Hey, yeah. you know what? I'll, I'll follow him. Okay. Maybe I'll create an a Finsta. So he does know it's me. Okay. Like you said, he's hungry for followers right now at yeah, the start. Yeah. He'll yeah. accept me. Then yeah. he'll forget that I'm there. <laughs> then I'll always be able to keep tabs on. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, and I'll and I'll re- send you the reports send- via email. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't cuz you're like the cool uncle. Not really. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I have too many hangups to be cool, Uncle. Mm, yeah, yeah. I could be f- maybe funny, Uncle. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I could be sage advice, Uncle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm gonna be like. <laughs> Here, let's split this joint, <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> oh, a drug, Uncle. I'm happy to be drug, okay, Uncle. There you go. There you go. So, I guess what I'm thinking about is sex, Uncle. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's which, not that's not you. Which that sex, Uncle, is a is a different thing. I think. <laughs> well, I don't <laughs> but, like the sounds of you know that what? at all. That what? moniker is not for anyone. No, just it's make, not good. Just make that. No, you're your right. Hand. You're right, Rachel. Sorry, let me rephrase. <laughs> uncle Sex. <laughs> uh, no, wait, that's not. I keep either. working on that. <sighs> Funkle, where the <laughs> fu is not for fun, <laughs> Uncle. It's for <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god brilliant but disturbing <laughs> anyways for all other things you know i think you know, I, i've already decided in case my nephews ever come to me for advice mm-hmm. i've already thought about what the advice is going to be <laughs> oh wow D- it Whatever doesn't matter the subject <laughs> regardless of the question oh, no 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 no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> universal when, when it comes to carnal matters yeah oh, oh carnal man <laughs> yeah I, I was i'm gonna say what, and this applies to whatever it is they're doing. If it's about making out, if it's about whatever it is. Slow dancing for the first... I'm going to say, do it... Do some... No. <laughs> Give them the advice. 
that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger gave Jamie Lee Curtis in True Lies? Mm. Do it doucement. No, I'm going to say do it slow. Whatever it is you're doing, do it slowly. Right. And then if you think you're doing it slowly, do it even slower than that. Wow. Because what you think is slow at, you know, 15 right. is going to be too fast. Yeah. And I think, okay. honestly, at that age, that is the best advice. Sure. For you know go down the menu of of sexual acts right from kissing to french kissing mm. oh good that he's learning french <laughs> that's the other one uh yeah. to everything further south whether it's your mouth or other parts of your body i think that is good advice for that age right i think you're right right because rachel maybe you could speak to this i feel like an often complaint from you know an adolescent girl when it comes to that stuff is like I felt I felt like I was being like poked and prodded and <laughs> like uh, an exam sort of situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or like a... <laughs> <laughs> well, when you finally get to touch one, yeah, you know. it's not really about the girl; it's about yourself. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's great advice. Great advice. Yeah, I didn't really hear you confirming that theory though, Rachel. That they're going too fast down below? Yeah, too fast. Everywhere. I think it works yeah. both ways. I've had... Too rough? Was, too bitey? Yeah. F- t- some teenage ugh. girls. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, gentle. Uh, nice and slow. I slow mean, like down. Usher said. Yeah. You take it nice and slow. Exactly. Yeah. Now, that's good advice. Okay. Yeah. And, sure. and I feel like they're, that way, as someone, you know, like, I don't have to get into it, really. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. because I don't want to... I don't want to draw any diagrams. I don't want to be looking at anything like pictures online and, and pointing things out. No unnecessary adjectives. I, I there. This is not going to come up. I can okay. almost guarantee. It. <laughs> no, no offense. <laughs> You're telling me that a thing that I'm worried about that I've spent mental energy trying to head off at the past is never yeah. going to happen? I, well, that would be a first for me. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine, but it could have. I don't, I don't know the nature of your relationship with your nephews, but... Uh, you got a well, few I'm years, on, though. Sex. I feel like the last people that kids, teenagers, want to talk to about... Sex is adults number one. A, B, I have a youthful and probably face, oh, just above that is members of their immediate family. Yeah, they just right. get unsolicited advice. Yeah, yeah. If you <laughs> want to get friends, you mean? Uh, no, from, from your family. Your family. Yeah, you oh. should give this advice. It's gonna have to be unsolicited though, because yeah. they are not mm. gonna ask you. Yeah, and no one wants unsolicited advice. Well, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Well, uh, even if you don't want it, it sets in and yeah. you take it yeah the, shut up matt shut up uncle matt and they're like mm, and then write uh, that but, down yeah and then i'll sink in maybe you know what you just made me realize a thing that kids will never have to experience in in the line of like going to blockbuster and shit like that yeah the experience of having a girl that you have a crush on speaking to her on the phone and then have your uncle your sister someone pick up the phone and go <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> my, one of my sister's friends once did that to me. I was on the phone with a girl and uh, he locked himself in the bathroom and I couldn't get to him. And he was, oh, I, I haven't forgot. I'm still angry about it. I don't think it was a fun prank. That is impressive. We should have discussed this for April Fool's. That is an impressive prank. I was so brunch. fucking angry. I was like, Jesus, just let me have this awkward conversation on my own. Yeah. Yeah. I don't uh, know. I think it's... All right. Funny. That's awesome. Uncle Sex mm. signing off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should do a sex column for teenagers. <laughs> oh Seventeen <my> Magazine. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Sex. Well, it's, it's only getting worse, though. Like, we all needed this advice, like, dating back from JD's generation to my generation. Mm. The problem is, is it is unequivocally worse now because... Uh, pornography is just so readily available on the internet, mm-hmm. on Reddit. I mean, uh, on uh, X Hamster, as you <laughs> pointed out, <laughs> that I do think that it makes sense. Like, it would make sense to me as a twelve-year-old. Like, hey, instead of getting advice from my dad or my uncle about sex, mm-hmm. why don't I just watch people doing it and I'll get notes from that? 
that's not a weird thing to think. Right. So normal. Like, Everybody has a ball gag in their their bedside table. And... Well, <laughs> eventually. Uh, and it's not if, that if, weird. Like, for instance, if, if your child wants to learn how to take apart the fridge, he could ask you, like, how do you take apart the fridge? Or right. he could go on YouTube and watch a video of a guy taking apart yeah. a fridge and being like, here's, I'm taking out the cold part right. of the fridge yeah. now. Yeah. Well, it's a, a, man, a person who's much more qualified to take apart a fridge. So that's what you're saying. The people on yes. X Hamster are way more qualified. They get paid to do it. Well, not always. Well, but... they've put in their 69,000 hours. <laughs> nice. Master. Master. Master that one. <laughs> uh Anyways, but of course, what they don't know is it's literally the worst thing to do is to take yes. cues from pornography, especially... You know, what's probably popular. I, I've had that chat with him though. Both of them. Don't look on the internet this for is, that reason. This is unrealistic. Yeah, this is just, not what sex is. So just tell them it's not real. Whatever right. this is. But it is real. It's not like wrestling. It is real. <laughs> well, it is like wrestling. Wrestling is real, but it's, uh, what do they say? It's, it's, sta- it's staged. It's not. Yeah. It's real. Well, I ah, see. I under, I appreciate your analogy, but. In wrestling, they are they are certainly taking physical risks and uh, jumping off the top rope, and they are at risk of injury, certainly. But when they're going like, bam, bam, like <laughs> pretending to p- holding someone's hair and punching them, they're yeah. not actually connecting with that person's face. It's right. not computer animation. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> in pornography, things are connecting with the person's face. Yes. But they're not enjoying it as much as they're making it out. Right. Yeah, sure, certainly, certainly, <clears throat> yeah. Or... Maybe they are. Maybe they are. We don't know. I've seen Boogie Nights. Sometimes two <laughs> actors come together and it's magic. <laughs> don't and watch Boogie Nights, but not for not for advice. No. Uh, well, congratulations, Steve. Yes, thank you. Child turning sixty. How did I we think get that's there? what you're getting at. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. At. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so do, do you feel older than you did like two weeks ago? No. Nah. Yeah, well, maybe a little bit, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I went out last night with a guy who is my age, mm-hmm. 42, mm-hmm. and dropped the bomb on me, like, not even as a reveal, just like in conversation, that he has a 24 year old daughter. Wow. Mm. Right? So, so I did. You the, didn't know about this? B- 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 quick math. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we're just meeting each other. Oh, I see. And I was like, wow, 18. I don't even have a kid. It's just funny to me that, like, let's say in a year, two years, I don't know, I have a kid. The kid is going to be one month old. Mm-hmm. And this guy was the exact same age as me is going to be like, oh, yeah, my <laughs> my kid just got her PhD. You right. know, like, it's right. so weird. Yeah. Of course, my son will be or daughter will be getting a PhD at one month old. <laughs> 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 when your kids are in high school or middle school and you're picking them up, they're like, oh, granddad's here. How picking them up on my scared. rascal scooter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hop on, kids. Hop on. I have a sidecar. Can you even get a rascal with a sidecar? <laughs> God, you must be able to. Um, all right, Rachel, let's uh, check in on your conspiracy theories. Mm. Oh, okay, well, I mean, really, we probably don't have time for more than one. We'll see how this goes. Uh, well, I but, did ask you to prepare three. Well, I kind of do have three, but, you know, let's not get just ahead get of ourselves. You, okay. All right. Let's just... We have plenty of time. Chill, I chill. can't emphasize enough how much time I have. <laughs> so are we starting with your favorite? I, oh, yeah. yeah I Can you just like. also remind me, what? why did this come up? And and was, it, was the hook, did I say three conspiracy theories that you think are true or three conspiracies that might be true or just three of your favorites? Do not get specific. I just... Randomly okay. pulled so three apologize. from the, the depths of my bowels. So just okay. here we go. Uh, yeah. So first one that I, I guess I was ha- having fun with okay. was that idea that Harry is not King Charles's son, but this dude's Major James Hewitt. Mm. So, oh, right. I okay. see. So just wondering if you saw a resemblance here. Before I show you the other pictures, so you can you can compare and contrast. So for the audio listeners, we are looking at a picture of Prince Harry mm-hmm. and Major. Is it John Hewitt? Yeah, James. James, James Hewitt. Hewitt. 
So this um, was a Diana. Co- a consort of sorts of Diana? Is that. Is or that... a lover, as Ooh, I saw. Okay, okay. <laughs> is this, I mean, I, confirmed in any way? Not, not that he's the father, but like that. Is it known that she had an affair with this fella? Well, you know, I'm just going on the internet. So right. <laughs> let's just have fun with this, Matt. Okay. Don't be it's so... It's a conspiracy. Okay, run with <laughs> it. Let's just okay. play with okay. this. Okay. Uh, me okay. looking at this picture, I am noticing that they are both gingery. See, that's what I was going to ask you. Is is Hewitt's hair red? Because it not, doesn't look red in this it, picture. Not it, so much, but I'm more does. looking at the freckles. It, he has a red hue, for sure. Okay. And okay. those freckles... Very in line with a lot of redheads with the extra melanin that shows up in that capacity. Okay. Not okay. extra melanin, the different type of melanin. Anyway. And is is this is the idea that like obviously you have Prince William and everyone's like, well, that guy looks like Prince Charles. And then you get Harry and you're like, this dude's too smoking hot to be the son of Prince Charles. <laughs> <laughs> is that why this... I mean, I've definitely heard well, me, how Harry is not Charles's, but is is this basically the idea they don't look much alike? Well, I'll show you that it, uh, another side by side, so you can. Look, I'll just show you Diana and Harry. Okay. Let's okay. go let's, back. Let's, 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 oh my God, hands. Rachel! If you got if I, so good at production that you figured out how to morph Hewitt and Diana oh, no. <laughs> together. Yeah, just again, okay. just slow okay. your roll. <laughs> okay, that that looks like his mother. Yes. Right. So the That's same Princess noses. Diana on the right. Yeah, you see same noses. Same noses. At least sure. I see it. I uh, you don't see Major the Hewitt, I think, had a similar nose to to Harry, but you know these are just English aristocracy. They're all the fucking same. Yeah, they're all like, related. Okay, so all, all right, right now okay, I'll give okay. you I'll give you the Charles. Okay, so we're seeing a there side by go. side of Prince Harry and his father at about the same age, I would guess. Yeah. I see the eyes. The eyes definitely seem the same. And that's about it, if I'm being honest. You know, you know what? It reminds me of a little bit like in um, uh, when they make a call on the floor in basketball. Like they have to <laughs> they have to have enough evidence to overturn the call they made. So even if the call they made was like, they're like, eh, we're not really sure. Yeah. If the video evidence isn't so strong that they can tell who the ball bounced off of before going out of bounds, mm-hmm. they don't overturn it. It's a little bit how I'm feeling so far. Right. Okay. So I'm like. Y- Okay. I believe you that it, that it's maybe not Prince Charles, but I know I'm not, I haven't seen enough evidence to overturn the call on the field. Okay, and that's what I think too. I think people are being dragged into the red hair thing, which I think is deceiving because Ooh, I don't find it's a red hair thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that where that expression comes from? <laughs> Classic red hair thing. <laughs> That's what they were saying in Scooby-Doo all the time? Red hair thing? I didn't realize that. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, because I'm you being a redhead, or mm-hmm. you're, are either of your parents... Strawberry blonde for yeah. all those listening. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'll I'm, take off my hat so people can... It looks red it's, today. It is a beautiful shade of red, Matt. Like, in okay. my opinion. Like, not, not like bright, bright red, but it's... It, it, like, it looks beautiful. redder in the image that you're capturing yeah, yeah, of me yeah. versus mm-hmm. what I'm looking at on my screen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're watching, just know. Are your parents either of them redheads? No. Okay. Okay, so then I think people are easily deceived by going, "Oh, he's a redhead, but Diana and Charles, neither of them are redheads." So his dad must be a redhead. This makes sense. Right. Right. But when I mean, it's been a while since I've looked at genetics and stuff, but according to like <laughs> <laughs> to your dad and your mom, they both had carrier genes of redheads, mm. and that's why you got it. Because you okay. have to have there is a recessive gene, and you can if you have two parents without red hair, is a twenty five percent chance that you'll be a redhead if they both have carrier genes. Interesting. Okay. So it is but, but, a possibility, a good possibility. What I don't understand, though, is like everyone is always trying to look at a picture of the mother and a picture of the father and then figuring out, well, who does the son or the daughter look Mm -hmm. like? But your kids, for instance, doesn't one look like one of you and the other looks like the other of you rather than them both being a perfect harmony of both of you? Yeah, well, and if this results in finding out that one of you is not their parent, (laughs) I do apologize for stirring the hornets. King Ding Dong likes to joke that he's uh, he's their daddy's. Is there oh, okay. Uh, now that's that's <laughs> Uncle Sex. If we're I've ever heard of yeah. one. You're right. We're talking, of course, of my friend Derek. 
<laughs> hey. He is not the father of my children. <laughs> Either. <No>. Believe us. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. So what do you think? They're both a perfect melding of the both of you. Uh, I think that uh, Jackson resembles Rachel a lot more than Correct. me, but yes. uh, he does have my eyes. I don't think he does, but that's fine. Okay. Well, <laughs> then no. I guess the answer is no. He definitely doesn't right. have my eyes. I don't know whose eyes Jackson has. But... Okay. Betty Davis's. Oh. So he. Um, like, William could look like uh, Charles, and Harry could just look like someone else. Yeah. Well, I, I think he is Or Diana. Combo. He could look more like Diana, which we've established he kind of does look like Diana. Right. But I did okay. I did find a couple of pictures of possible illegitimate children of Charles. Okay. So okay. Let's go. Right. Let's see him. Okay. Is this with Camilla or what? <laughs> okay, oh, that! <laughs> we are looking at a picture of... <laughs> <laughs> the King of England, Charles, <laughs> and Americans actor Matthew Reese. I mean, who is actually British? I think. No, right? he's, from he's Wales. Welsh. He's Welsh. Oh, he's so Welsh. He's, oh, I'm so uh, sorry, Matthew. Can... But he could have went on a little vacay over to Wales, and you know. Oh yeah, that's hard. The kingdom. noses are close, but again, yeah, uh, that's British. A good one. This is a good one. This but, is good. Yeah, but I have an even better one. Okay. 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 Scott Rogowski. Okay. <laughs> Can you not see them as twins? They're fucking twins. <laughs> but so, first of all, Prince Charles looks different in all these pictures. Yeah. Like, oh, they're different we're, ages. We're, we're looking at old. I mean, I have no idea how old he would be here. In his I, 30s? I, I, no, probably. Maybe late 20s even. No, really? You think? I don't know. I see 40. Okay. Okay. He does look like Scott Rogowski. But this is the other thing. It's like we can, if, if we're not controlling for anything and we can find anything any picture of person X and then choose any picture of person Y yeah. and we can match up their, the, the smile they're giving in the photo or the way they're cocking their head, it lends so much. Like when we would always do split screens on the show, mm -hmm. uh, like I can't think of, an, of a reason to do one now. But basically this, like this NBA player looks like this guy. Right. You'd always have to find one where they were both going like, this similar yeah. you know poses, I mean? yeah. and similar pose. Otherwise, our dumb brains are like, no, that's not the same yeah. person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, if their heads are both cocked to the right, now I see the similarity. <laughs> For sure. Uh, okay, so do you think? Uh, do you believe in any of these other ones? Like, what's what's the other one that um, Mia Farrow and Frank Sinatra's? Oh, oh, that is it. Uh, oh, this is all allegedly. Okay. By the way. Yes, of course. We're talking conspiracy that, theories here. Conspiracy theories that we don't believe in. Right. Ronan Farrow is the son, not of Woody Allen and Mia Farrow, but of Frank Sinatra mm. and Mia Farrow. Who? Isn't that one? I feel like I've never seen a picture of Ronan Farrow. We should do an illegitimate child segment every week. <laughs> Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> every week. We can find that. That's some Behind the goss. bastards. <laughs> It's like, where's, where's Waldo? God damn, this guy looks... <laughs> hey, if any of our listeners are illegitimate children, please reach out to us. Tell us your story. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, and then, of course, allegedly there is the... Ah, fuck, which card? I think it's Chloe Kardashian is actually the daughter of Chris and... And... Um, O.J. Simpson. Isn't... Oh, really? I, oh. Yeah, I think wow. so. That's because a... because Robert Kardashian defended OJ, but but because they were good friends from before, huh. I think. Okay, I'm looking uh, at a picture of Ronan Farrow right now, and I am 100% in on the Frank Sinatra <laughs> being his dad. Okay. Wow. We need to... Yeah, I need to look at that. Cool. Look Does he have old blue eyes? Uh, I don't, can't tell what color his eyes are. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, he does justice. have blue eyes, but so does uh -oh. Mia Farrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, Rachel. So that's a good, uh, that's interesting conspiracy. Yeah. And where are you falling on it? You're saying not, you don't believe it. I think people are just being seduced by the people red hair, are. not knowing like the probability of a kid ending up okay. with red hair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Unlike you who study genetics. I I have, you have, you didn't do the Punnett Square in any of your university, I guess you didn't study science in university or in high school. Never even heard of a pundit. Uh, never even heard of the pundit square. <laughs> pundit. Yeah. Pundit square. Anyway, I did multiple times. <laughs> Wasn't that uh, the area pundit? in the cafeteria at Ryerson University where all the journalists sat? <laughs> the pundit square. 
<laughs> no D in that word, dingo. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, well, get, you got another conspiracy Yeah, what's Punnett theory, Square? It. Well, it's when, okay, so dominant and recessive genes, and you put the parent here and the other parent here, and you have uh, letters as the... And you figure out what the probability of a redhead is going to come out of a parent with, you know, both redheads. Oh, 100%. Okay, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have done this. I'm an uh, I'm an INFP. INFP. No, that's that's Briggs Myers Briggs or Briggs Myers, whichever it is. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't Next conspiracy. Know. Okay. Well, another one that I thought was. I, d- I don't know why I didn't even hear about this. I guess I clocked out. <laughs> I don't Snow- know why I didn't. Snowmageddon. It happened in Atlanta. Like Okay, yeah. I remember. I was there. So did you hear that it was a government conspiracy? It wasn't real, really snow. It was chemicals no. the government had put down oh. on us. Hmm. Be- so we're talking that we had just moved to Atlanta. I think that this is 2014. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, our first winter there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And they told us, oh, Canada, where you all live in igloos and fight polar bears. But don't worry, down here, the weather's beautiful in the south. <laughs> and then there proceeded to be a snowstorm that <clears throat> caused like 36 hours of traffic on the freeways and yeah. people to give birth in their cars. Not mm-hmm. a joke. That did happen. Yeah. Uh, a huge thing. Uh, I just put my headphones in and walked home. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> what I was walking through, you're telling me now, is government chemicals. Government chemicals. And the reason why this, I guess, made it onto the internet, because some dummies, <laughs> for some reason, took snowballs and lighters and tried to burn it mm. or mm-hmm. melt it. And they say this, and they would post the video and say, see, this snowball won't melt. Okay. This is chemicals. The government's trying to fucking poison so us. So where, where did the chemicals go then? Right. And if they had left... The video up longer the reason why the snowball was shrinking and burning was supposedly the burn was the butane from the lighter okay but the snow is shrinking because the water is coming in on itself and making a slush ball as opposed to a snowball so it's not dripping which is what they were looking for they were just looking for water running off right but if they had actually let the video run for for the full duration and lit it the entire time they wouldn't have thrown this out into the universe and have people believe them. Well, I don't okay, think many that, people. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure people do believe that, but that is yeah. not, it's not, it's, it's not even a fun one to believe in. <laughs> yeah. I don't even, wait, and sorry, did you say why? Like, well, what, from the government's perspective, what, what's the benefit to them? Oh, I don't know. I, that's all I got <laughs> okay. for you. You, you hypothesize. Testing, they're just testing their fake snow. Maybe. Well, isn't the rain seed in Dubai going crazy right now? Anybody? Go on. Anyone? The Anyone? rain seed? Literally, Anyone? I have. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you just said that so. You said a phrase I've never heard okay, anyone say okay. before. So confident. Business Isn't insider. Isn't the rain seed in Dubai going crazy right now? Six is Time Magazine right now. Seven hours ago is cloud seeding to blame for the floods. There's flooding in Dubai because they were seeding clouds oh, to God. control rain. And now uh, the government, the uh, United Arab Emirates government, is uh, denying that cloud seeding took place before the Dubai floods. But I don't know. Wait, can you explain to us idiots, a.k.a. me, what is cloud seeding? I, it's uh, 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 artificial rain, I guess. I, I literally don't know. Hmm. It's what it okay. sounds like. Making It sounds it like rain. what happens when I go to a popular restaurant and they don't have any room and they say, well, we do have some cloud seating. <laughs> so if Lincoln wanted to do that, he'd have to create a weather engineering uh, area at Georgia Tech. Right, right. <laughs> Isn't this literally the plot to Fantastic Four? <laughs> oh, no, the Avengers, the one that was like in the 90s, you know, uh, where they're like, Dressed as like mo- dapper mods. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the cane, and it's like yeah. someone that's like figured out how to control the weather. I think so. I think so. So the they do by they are making it rain. <laughs> Make it rain, baby. Okay, I, I don't know okay. if that's I don't know if that's a conspiracy or not, but it's time no. Right. I th- I think you're right. I do. Th- that does sound familiar, but I just I don't I don't do I know how it works? Why what Mm-mm. they're doing? I mean, I know why they're doing it because it's a desert, pretty much, right? So. Mm. 
Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Cloud seeding basically works by artificially recreating the process by which rain and snow naturally occur. In normal clouds, microscopic droplets of water vapor are attracted to atmospheric aerosols like dust or pollen or salt from the sea. When enough water droplets cover converge uh, around these nuclei, they form ice crystals and fall. Clouds are seeded typically by specially equipped aircraft. But, is, oh. but also by oh. ground-based generators, by implanting particles, commonly silver iodide. Okay, sorry, this is a real thing. This is real, baby. I'm oh, so... Oh, so this is, you're just basically the way, it's just Punnett Square. <laughs> this is legit <laughs> so I'm science. I'm going to anyone now when I don't know what I'm We didn't about. study it at oh, oh, yes, yes, Punnett college. Square, yes, of course. Of that's course. right, that's right, that's right. Over here in Pundit Square. Okay, so they are making it rain. They are making it rain in Dubai. I mean, it is in a desert. Isn't so. it going to flood if they don't get That's more foliage? That's what's happening. That's, That's what's point. going on. But you're, you're saying, oh, they want more water. I'm like, well, well they don't obvious, want it well, yet. They need the foliage. I'm seeing photos of cars. It looks like Kentucky in a rainy season. Oh. Right mm. it's, it, basically, what you're accusing them of is a, a classic Midas touch parable. <laughs> yes. Where King Midas says, I want everything I touch to turn to gold. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he touches his daughter and mm. she turns to gold. And then he says, A life size person made out of gold. My dreams have come true. <laughs> Nothing bad is ever going to happen to me. And that's the end. So I don't know what the moral of that story is, but. That's right. That's right. Uh, all right. Uh, final one, or is this your final one? No, I, I mean, I've got another one. It's another Lady Die, though, because the other one stemmed <laughs> off of Lady Die. Okay. You yeah, know. let's hear it. Well, I mean, everyone's heard of the, you know, so they were, the government was trying to kill her. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. She didn't actually get in an accident. Mm -hmm. right. They wanted to, the royal family had it happen because they wanted to make it easier for the now King Charles to marry. Camilla. Well, yeah. 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 Huh. Oh, interesting. I thought, th I when I've heard that, it's more that they, you know, it was an affront to the yeah. to the monarchy to have Diana be dating, like, basically an, an Egyptian Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, and a lot of, it also came from the Dodie's dad saying, they killed her because of being with my son, too. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. But it looks like multiple times the test came back saying... The chauffeur was under the influence. Drunk. Yeah. yeah. He was very drunk. Yeah. yeah. But she, they investigated it more because she had written letters and had her butler hold on to them because she was worried they were going to try to murder her. Mm. That's why they You're not saying the butler did it, are you? <laughs> That's Clue. It's a good old fashioned game of Clue. I think this one is a classic reason that conspiracy theories are invented something happens that is like shocking to us mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. don't want it to be true and so instead of um drunk driver speeding at, at, an, at, at an incredible speeds in a foreign city through a tunnel being chased by paparazzi oh well that can't be it mm -hmm. you know there's got to be simple. something else that happened but that seems like a pretty good explanation for how two people could die yeah. people die in car crashes every day you just so, don't expect it to happen to these amazing celebrities, you know. Right, like exactly. They're infallible. So, or, yeah. You know. And and I would say that, like, uh, the monarchy is a nefarious organization. I mean, dating back to its origins. Sure. All sorts of palace intrigue and subterfuge and backstabbing and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when people are very rich and powerful and control many levers of government and influence, then... It's not surprising that people are like, well, they had a, they had access to do it. All right, but uh, this one I don't think needs a conspiracy to be no, explained. So. No, no, no. Just a just a tragedy. Um, and have you ever seen those um, bumper stickers? Birds aren't real. Yeah, I hate the birds aren't. But real. I, I mean, that's just a joke. It's just. <laughs> but it's not. But it's but, not but it's a thing that started as a joke that people started to believe as a conspiracy. Oh, theory. okay. So mm -hmm. a lot of people did start to believe that. That's crazy. I know. That's it's why like. I think we're, some people would say we're in the golden age of conspiracy because of the internet. And I think we're past it. I like, think I think so it's too. so easy to propagate, start like QAnon style shit that it's like, you don't have to try anymore. Like back in the day when we found out that Rod Stewart had to get a stomach pump because he swallowed nine liters of semen. <laughs> 
you know, it was a lot of work to get that information to me. Yeah, that's you can't go to the library to look something like that up. Exactly, it's yeah. just word of mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know Passing the precious truth from one person to another, town to town, no. well, country to country. What about the Richard Gere gerbil? Exactly. Well, that's true. Is that true? That one's true. I. <laughs> Well, I don't think it's just true, no. get someone to do it. That sounds like dangerous. That sounds like Game of Thrones torture device. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, are there any out of curiosity that you believe in, JD? Oh, I told you the one that I believe. Oh, in. The, the 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 fake Coke, the Norm Coke. Coke thing. Yeah. Do you think Paul McCartney's dead? No. <laughs> no. Okay, I definitely did as a child. You really? Did. Oh yeah, I was I was told by. Remember the uh, the story I once told you about working at the radio station in summer camp when I was like eleven. Yes. And then um, the guy didn't turn on the signal to to be broadcasting and let us do a whole show so he could yell at us about how unprofessional we were. <laughs> yeah. He was a big Beatles guy, and he. It, it's impossible for me to tell now if he truly believed it or I was just eleven and it just seemed like he believed it, right. but. We were like playing the revolution number nine backwards, turn okay. me on, dead man. Yeah. Um, Paul is facing the wrong way on the uh, Sergeant Pepper. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's the cover. No, it's not the cover. It's the back. The gate, the back. The sleeve and then there's or... one of them. I think on the gatefold, he's pointing to in um, She's Leaving Home. You know that song? Right. Yeah. And there's a, a lyric and it's like, Wednesday morning at five o'clock as the day begins. And I think it's Paul's pointing at it, and that's when he died. Right. Hmm. So, so, sorry, he I'm, died at during recording of Sgt. Pepper's. Is that? I think maybe before. He died in like 66, I think. Okay. And they, they replaced him with Billy Shears. Oh, okay. Now, may I introduce to you the one and only Billy Shears? Right. Now, if you were trying to cover it up, maybe don't say, let me introduce you to the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's some questions still. Okay. So but, Billy Shares uh, is in Wings, text. is what you're saying. Is what? Billy Shares is yeah, in Billy Wings. Billy Shares is in Wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the band was on the run. <laughs> okay. And it's now it's starting to make sense. It's starting to make sense. <laughs> so many clues you... there. So exactly. They're there for you. Did you like uh, the one... I don't know if you heard this one, but... Taylor Swift got into a lot of trouble because she was flying her private jet everywhere, like yeah. even for like tiny distances yeah. that she could have driven. And so people, she was polluting the environment, uh, releasing tons of CO2, and people were upset. And so people think that she started dating Travis Kelsey and then went to a Jets game. I think that was the first game they went to or maybe the second game. And remember the huge hoopla of Taylor Swift Mm -hmm. attending an nfl game Mm -hmm. people said it was so that when people googled taylor swift jets that's what came up instead of the story of her (laughs) polluting the planet (laughs) wow that's a good one that's a great one that is a great one and if it's true like smart more power to you honestly you're a genius if, if that's I think we might ha- be having a new Taylor Swift album tomorrow actually oh, now wow. that I think about it okay see yeah, I so that's something to look forward to oh boy will we be covering do that. I have to go back and listen to what I, what do we got 20 that I've missed uh I well no and, I mean I don't know if we want to do a, a Nathan Hubbard style old men talking about music for teenagers then maybe but i i think we'll see i think we'll just skip it you know what we could really honestly we could do is those sort of reaction like man old man hears blank for the first time (laughs) time. they they usually do it with kids like you know this kid heard led zeppelin for the first time it's like oh damn this is good (laughs) but yeah this this is me this is my impression of of me uh listening to the new Taylor Swift album. Okay. Until I'm talking to Jill. Jill's making me listen to it, right? Okay. Oh, uh, is this one about Joe Alwyn? Next track. <laughs> is this one about Joe Alwyn? Next track. <laughs> is this one about Joe Alwyn? Next track. <laughs> Did she write this before she started dating Travis? Is this about Travis Kelsey? <laughs> Next track. Oh, this one's about Joe Alwyn. Yeah. Are they all about Joe Alwyn? I don't know, but it's a safe bet. If you say it enough, one of them is yeah. going to be about Joe Alwyn, a man that I couldn't pick out of a lineup. No conspiracy Me theory neither. there. You know, um, he's sorry, British. Ahead. I think that's all I know. I kind of regret not taking all of my friends' Taylor Swift Sweet Sixteen uh, 
paraphernalia home and not pranking Jackson, like having a surprise Sweet 16 with all of this stuff and like having his friends over. Would that be funny? What do you mean? You have a friend, (laughs) you have a friend whose daughter. Twin daughters. We went there for game night and she still Uh, had the stuff up from the Sweet 16 uh, weekend. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I should take that to Jackson. Like, wouldn't that have been kind of funny? Yeah. Have his friends over and do it. It's too late it's now. It's too late. He's already turned six. Have a tortured poets club listening party. <laughs> I think that's I think that's what it's called. Oh, Tay Tay. You know, one that's on my mind is is the Boeing guy. We talk about flying and and Boeing. Obviously, the, all their planes are flying uh, falling out of the sky, or doors okay. are ripping that's, open, that's a or tops are coming up. Sure. That the the whistleblower was found dead in the midst of all mm. this. Yeah, that's that's a little suspicious it's a lot suspicious <laughs> but the problem is that like I, I know that he had said i i don't this is a very cursory understanding of it first of all i i think he was talking about the 787 which is that huge mother mm-hmm. that they they built the yes. dreamliner i think it's called yes um so it's not related to the ones that are that w- that have been in the news falling right. out of the sky but in any case being a whistleblower here's the here's the the, the tough thing about being a whistleblower It's incredibly taxing on you because you're going against not only the place you work for, but friends you have at the company. Mm -hmm. And this giant multinational corporation is using all their power and lawyers and energy to discredit you, to take you down. And that's incredibly stressful. So your life is basically going to be made miserable. Mm -hmm. And so when someone, you know, dies, you know, of suicide or something, it's sort of easy to understand that like hey fuck my life has been a goddamn nightmare since i tried to do the right thing yeah it's been nothing but stress and anxiety and pain and so it's probably not weird that they might take their own lives well except if you would have like thought that through i think pretty deeply before you did it you would expect they'd come back at you though wouldn't you be like well you know expect that and god would have how is that worth it after all you would put into it <laughs> To just be like, see ya, I'm out of here. Yeah, I don't think anything I mean, I can I prepare know. you for it, to be honest. And I also I think that if you're going to blow the whistle, you're going to go to some journalist who's very, very, very motivated for you to tell the story and right. be the whistleblower. And you can get uh, pressured into it. Didn't you? Did anyone That's see true. The Insider here? Anyone? Oh, of anyone? course. <laughs> A classic. That's true. That's true. But yeah, yeah. Or um, Michael Clayton kind of has some some whistleblowing vibes. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. They make they're making that toxic like uh, Roundup or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And of course, Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. <laughs> but we all knew that. I mean, that's another one where I be- I kind of believe it. I believe in the incompetence of the penal system that they were like, oh yeah, like we fell asleep and we weren't really checking, and yeah. and the camera was broken. Hundred percent. But I also believe that fucking it wasn't yeah. that that someone did kill him. Yeah, yeah. But and made it look like he hung himself. Yeah. Okay. Or hung him, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Well, I believe you. That's that's a one. You know, the frustrating thing is we keep being told, like JFK, for instance, the mother of all conspiracy theories. Yeah. I was always told when I was learning about it in high school. You know, so we're talking 1999, 1998, that, you know, we don't know for sure now, but what's going to happen is as these people that were involved and were alive at the time start dying on their deathbeds, they might say, I got to get this off my conscience. This yeah. is what really happened. Or I was involved in this or, right. you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And sure enough, every year, it seems like someone does come out and it's like, daughter says that on his deathbed, man gave diary explaining how the mob put a hit on JFK and then they research it and they're like, no, this right. guy was trying there to stir shit doesn't... before they hit the grave. Right. Right. But even despite knowing that it probably won't happen, I'm still hoping that, uh, on their deathbed, some Epstein people will come out. Okay. And tell us what happened. Well, they wouldn't. Even though for JFK, it hasn't happened. And I think a lot of those people are dying or are already dead. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're done. And we all know it was the shit. CIA anyways. So, <laughs> Moving on, uh, some very quick housekeeping. Next week's Great Beyond is Patreon only. Did you know that, Jandy? Oh, I didn't know that. 
Yeah, so if you'd like to support the show, go to patreon.com slash is this good. You'll get ad-free episodes. You'll get access to our thriving community on Discord. You'll get an exclusive episode every month, and you can send in AMA questions on the Discord for the Patreon-only episode. You see mm-hmm. the flywheel? Yes. It all speaks to each other. Uh, you can send topics for future shows to isthisgoodpod at gmail.com. I'm, I would love reading your emails, your topic suggestions, your settle is. Uh, and of course, subscribe on YouTube, leave a review on Apple Podcasts, and go back to listen to the episode with Avital Ash. Yes. We talked about eating dinner in front of the TV, the best insurance spokesperson, me not wearing a wedding ring because my fingers are too fat. I'll show them to you again. Uh, and uh, child-free weddings, which was is a hot topic. Uh, you know. Can I ask a question? Was she serious when she said she's taken her dog to multiple weddings? Or was that a joke? I don't even remember her saying I don't remember that. remember saying but multiple weddings. Yeah, she said... She said multiple I, I'm weddings? I'm pretty sure she did. Did she? Okay. I remember her talking about something like her friend inviting her for dinner and then saying... Or was it a wedding? No, I no. I thought it was someone inviting her for dinner and saying, don't bring your dog. Yeah. Or your dog is not invited. And she was like, why would I assume my dog was invited? Well, that's why I was confused when she was like, yeah, I've taken my dog to multiple weddings. But she was deadpan. And I'm like, is she serious? Because it doesn't well, go... That's not a nice way to talk about a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> JK Amir JK JK um, I don't know mm. I'll have to ask I'll have to stand up during her <laughs> solo show <laughs> hopefully there'll be a part of the show where she says if anyone in the audience has anything to say please <laughs> do. <laughs> yeah be perfect I saw a TikTok Mac um, speaking of proposals and weddings and rings mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm and the gist of it is the a proposal ick, and it's <laughs> this woman is basically complaining about her a proposal that hasn't happened yet, by the way, but how she'll be grossed out if the guy sort of slouches over while he's bending down on one knee. And like okay. hunched over, like she she invoked the hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, oh, I, I can see picture it. Yeah. You know, so you're like sort of groveling at her and, mm. and with the ring and stuff, and just how it would almost be a deal a deal breaker. So mm. now now you, now you have to make sure that you have good posture <laughs> while kneeling down to ask this person to marry her with. A ring that probably costs three months' salary. Yeah, well, I will say that the, the the position you just contorted yourself into, bent over and leaning forward, is giving sort of, yes, master, <laughs> Igor kind of vibes. And I don't think that you want that. Isn't that the point of kneeling down? <laughs> like, what is... <laughs> it's, not, it's not, you're not kneeling down because the person is in uh, control of you. I you're just, kneeling down as a sign of respect. I just the, you're nervous as hell. You're 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 doing something goofy as it is by kneeling in probably a public place. It's like uh, I'm lower try- your expectations, I'm doing my best people. Here. Like, Jesus fucking, Christ! Now that's an ick. Like this is supposed to be a beautiful gesture, and it's like I know. I, here's the thing. I know if it was me, not that I would ever do this, but. If it was me, I would absolutely be sort of hunched over and sort of in an uncomfortable position. And it's not a natural thing. You don't practice it. You know what I mean? Well, you do. It's, that's, it's a split squat, essentially, when you think about okay, it. Okay, I guess. Anyway, be a aware. Short lunge. Just be aware. Oh, yes. There be aware. Go. If In case, you, practice in your case split this squats. happens, that's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, it could happen soon, right, Matt? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, me doing it? <laughs> I, okay, I'll tell you this. Practice I'm going to get place. down on one knee. Yeah, okay, good. Well, yeah. I'm going to send That's you this TikTok, and she, <laughs> I mean, she goes over practice. the exact what you're supposed to do so that you don't ick, ick out your potential fiancé before... Oh, yeah, you know how we do, is this a good rule? Maybe there's someone that has rules for how to propose. Right, oh. We can we can look that. Look in there, that and, of yeah. course, you'll agree with all their snooty little... <laughs> Maybe. Or always, always be facing east. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Well, do you, uh, anything else you wanted to get off your chest before we go? 
got to get enough done so I can be, you know, midnight, just me and Taylor. Oh, yes. right. Yeah, yeah. I just want to have it. If it's not coming out. Is that making love then music, I'm Matt? Be... Well, we'll I don't know. Out. I mean, we'll we haven't out. heard this album, so we don't know if, if it's a stylistic turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't think so. Yeah, yeah okay. probably not. Uh, I bought a suit from a guy this week. <laughs> <laughs> from a guy. Okay, interesting. Not a store, a, a guy. Well, <laughs> it was a salesperson at a store. Oh, okay. Who uh, who teaches phlebotomy? Oh, right. Uh, uh, oh yeah, the, the uh, drawing like of blood. blood. Drawing blood. Yeah, yeah. drawing of blood. Um, and he is a licensed ph- phlebotomist as well. But he. He was, I was like, just chatting like, oh, that's cool. So you teach people how to do it. And he's like, yes, I te- teach them how to, how to, uh, you know, uh, go through all the, the, you know, the, uh, the getting the needles and being safe mm-hmm. about it and be doing it in a painless way. And it's a two year, uh, cer- certification, but I still stick people from time to time. Like, <laughs> so the slang in the phlebotomy world is if yeah. you're taking blood from somebody you're sticking them anyway, oh, i thought that I was kind of kind of cool little now, insider when he, <laughs> when he fit man. you for the suit and he was putting those little pins in the pants <laughs> <laughs> that's just for fun yeah yeah no he was expert at it no anyway i just thought that was kind of cute and this is uh off the rack uh well it was for are Link- you having any alterations it, it was for lincoln's prom actually uh it was for lincoln Lincoln, it fit the, oh, the jacket fit off the rack, but he is getting the pants altered slightly. Okay, of course you bought a suit in 2017, so you don't need one. <laughs> no, uh, no, not though. It's way, way, way that that. If I had bought a suit in 2017, I'd be at the height of fashion right now. No, 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 no. My suit, I think I bought uh, in 2010. That Didn't you last. buy a suit when we went to the NBA awards? Or am uh, I making that up? No, they they the black tux gave us a suit. Oh right, right, right. I knew I was so thinking. I had to give that but one. But you back. but that one fit like shit, right? It or am I remembering fit, it wrong? It was awful. Yeah. It didn't fit <laughs> the black at all. Tux. You know what? Is does that company exist anymore? I don't Probably know. not. I don't know. The, they used to advertise on podcasts. I haven't heard that. The the tux show I remember the tux showing up in in a crumpled ball. Oh. At the, right. Like, oh, God. And I remember me saying, I'm not doing this. Yeah. It was a, an offer, and I said, no. I, I know it's going to be bad. Yeah. And I Because they're no like, choice. oh, you just put in your measurements. And I'm like, sorry, <laughs> that's never once worked out for me. Yeah. I mean, and, and I went to get measured, and Trey was there, too, and he didn't bother with his at all. But, you know, he's got tons of clothes. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had no, uh, no real choice, and uh, it was a disaster. It was, yeah, it was bad. I, I remember, or I was just thinking also because my cousin's getting married in September. Mm-hmm. And I was just saying to Jill, I was like, oh, I hope this suit that I bought in 2015 that I haven't worn since 2018, A, still fits me, and B, looks like what a suit is supposed to look <laughs> right. like in 2024. I have no idea. <laughs> just get it altered. Should, I should be trying it on now and figuring it out, but mm, we'll wait till <laughs> late August to figure that one out. Uh, of course, so I can be scrambling as hard as possible. Uh, join us on Monday for a full review of the new Taylor Swift album. Uh, <laughs> but more importantly, an episode with Drew McGarry, who is someone I've been reading on the internet for a long ass time and who has made me laugh many, many times. You know him from Deadspin. You know him from now, Defector. Um, he's written, I want to say five books. JD, you're going to have a lot of books to buy. I already own at least three Drew McGarry books. Oh, really? Yes. And I I hesitate to ask, but have you read them? I've read at least one of them. Oh, which? I wonder if the same one I've read. Which did you read? I I don't know the names of them. Postmortal. It's the one one about being cover. What? Oh, the one about being a dad. Yeah, the dad one. Mm -hmm. I have not read that one. Okay, perfect. Well, he's a good writer. He's a great writer. So join us on Monday for that. Email us at isthisgoodpod at gmail.com. Subscribe everywhere. Leave a review on Apple Podcasts. This was JD, Matt, and Rachel reaching out from the great beyond. The great beyond is, of course, the place where we control the world. (laughs) (laughs) And the weather. And the weather. Nothing is real. 
especially birds. We'll see you <laughs> next week. Bye. Hootie hoo. <laughs>